to Consultants Corner. I'm Rebecca Brizzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. And you are a business owner who should be slow to hire and fast to fire. No, 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 don't. Don't go fire somebody right now. Wait, hear me out. This came out of a conversation that I had with Charlotte Merritt, who provides HR technology and benefits, and Lisa Marie Papp, who provides IT services. One of the areas in which all of our work overlaps is in the support we give to our clients in their HR efforts. Slow to hire and fast to fire is a good approach. But as with all business advice, one sentence does not tell you everything you need to know. Never accept a single sentence as a strategy or a business idea. There is a lot that goes behind that sentence to build up to the point where you are slow to hire and fast to fire. The point is to do it the right way. What does it mean to be slow to hire? It does not mean that you just take your time or you drag your feet or you let the candidate wait as long as possible. What it means is that you take the time to be sure that you're hiring the correct candidate for your role. And the reason that that takes time is because the correct candidate is the one that will fit your business culturally. It is the candidate whose attitude and approach to work and motivation and general values will align well with your expectations of that person at work. And in order to know and be confident that the candidate is a cultural fit, you have to know what your business culture is. You have to have defined your business culture. You have to have defined what those personality traits are. And you have to figure out how you can identify them throughout an interview or screening process of candidates. And you hire somebody when you are confident that they will be a cultural fit to your business. This is about understanding the difference between what you can teach somebody to do and what they have to be bringing to the job with them. And things like motivation and general guiding principles, these are things that you can coach on, that you can enhance, that you can encourage. But if their starting point is completely misaligned with everything you're doing, you can't expect to transform somebody into a whole new person. I mean, you've got other things Things you have to do too. That is not the focus of your business. By slow to hire, we don't mean slow in terms of time. We mean slow in terms of account for these things. And what do I mean by fast to fire? I do not mean that you think about firing somebody and do it right away. I do not mean that you fire somebody because they get on your nerves or they've done one wrong thing on a particularly bad day because you had lunch but it wasn't enough and now it's 3 p.m. and you're hangry and it's raining outside and everything sucks and so you're just gonna take it out on that one employee who did something really stupid today and that's your justification. No, firing is still a last resort. But when you do have to fire somebody, when that truly is the only option, you should be able to do it with confidence. And you can do that with confidence if you have done everything else right beforehand and you know that nothing else is going to work. You have given them all the training they need, all the support they need, access to resources, you have monitored their performance, you have spoken to them about their performance, you have documented their performance, and when there is no other option, that decision to fire is easy. So by quick to fire, it doesn't mean doing it right away. It means that you've done everything you can, and so it's easier to identify when that is the only option available. Be slow to hire and fast to fire by making decisions for your business that align with the expectations of your business and what's best for everybody involved. What are the three main traits you look for in new candidates for your business? And why are those traits important? And the most important question I'll ask you, how do you identify those traits in somebody's behavior and in their work? That's what I want you to work on for this week. And it's also something you can work on with me. Drop me a line if you wanna talk about some consulting, but anything you put together will be better than not having anything in place at all. I'll see you back here next week for our next video. Bye now.